Good afternoon, everyone. We've come here at Nataraj TV Talk Time. We have with us the OFBJP Parivar members here. We have Sumit ji from the North team. We have Priya ji from the South team. We have Ajay ji from the East team. And we have Anil ji from the West team. I'm glad to say that OFBJP is here to support the current government under the Prime Minister Modi's leadership. So, Sumit ji, we've won the elections. What are your views about it? Yeah, so I think any developing nation, any emerging economies, they need a stable and strong government in the center. And uh, Modi ji being in power for the last two tenure, for the last 10 years, and the growth path which he has taken for India to make India a developed nation, a real developed nation, it is really good and historical that he is coming back in his third straight term after completing two full terms. And this is historical in the sense that he is the only Prime Minister after six decades after Pandit Nehru, that he is coming back with the full majority uh, in the in the center uh, in the country. So I think that uh, the growth path which he has taken is going to uh, continue, is going to be continued. Yeah, yeah. After, I would like to add on this, like uh, definitely the country is going to be greatly developed with yeah. this uh, united uh, team. Yeah. A leadership. A united leadership. Yeah. Yeah. And I think uh, it's important. That is what we have learned through Modi 1.0 and mm -hmm. 1.2. It's important that we continue to support the leaders after they have won. Mm -hmm. Because the real work starts after the results are declared. So yeah. more power to the current government. Yeah. More power to our leaders yes. to continue the uh, development work that they've started. I'm really uh, excited about uh, what the Bharatiya Janata Party is going to do. The, uh, next five years. Mm -hmm. So um, I totally um, and completely trust in the uh, leadership of uh, Narendra Modi ji. So let's enjoy the upcoming yeah. five years. I'd like to add one thing, okay, and that is that I really want India to get into a developed nation category. Yeah. And I see that growing fast. I see that changing fast. So soon India will be from a developing to a developed nation. Sure. Cheers yeah. to that. Sure, hey, sure, great, great, great. We now completed nine years in the Netherlands as OFPJP. Next year will be a decade. We've been focused on two activities. One is the seva that we have been doing with our community. And second is the Vasudev, promotion of the Vasudev Kutumbukam. I think on seva, we started with the direction of our leader, Dr. Vijay Chathaiwale. You are, remember the Brussels terrorist attack, right? Maybe uh, you want to yeah. tell something about that. That was, that, was, uh, that was an incident we can't forget. Uh, yes, it did suddenly give us an opportunity to serve serve a lot uh, to almost 650 people but I must tell you that uh, it was not possible without the embassy support, without the support of Jet Airways and uh, Shirdi Sai Samaj and a lot of fellow other Indians who actually came up together and made it happen. We got a call at 1 uh, a.m. in the morning and that is how our team started on it. We went, we, we met all the people there, we understood what they needed but our team did a good job. We fed these people. Yes, along with the help of Shidi Sai Samaj, we arranged for Indian food and we passed all the food packages to the people. We made sure that we don't bypass anything which we are not supposed to do. Okay, we delivered the food on time. We made sure that the, all the belongings, specifically students and the elderly, they got their belongings on time. Okay, so they were at peace and then everybody else also got their baggages, which was a good thing. They had a good experience. They felt that there is a home away from home. In fact, that reminds me that, uh, you know, um, this was one of the assignments, of course, which we handled together uh, with so many organizations yes. that you mentioned. But we also handled more. You've been involved in some of the Seva work. Yeah, so um, it was a great experience for me because I'm connected and working for all BGB Parivar. For, uh, for two years now. Yeah. So uh, the great thing about the KKD is they helped us through uh, that phase in our life to, to come forward and to teach us and to create more workshops so that they, can, so, so that they could understand our uh, values and culture more better than, uh, than the previous times. So I think we should be very grateful to the KKD that they uh, uh, they uh, created workshops for us, yeah. so that they could, so that they could uh, help us and understand us much better. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And in fact, they were not even familiar with ghee and yeah. uh, jaggery and those kind of yeah. clear butter and stuff yeah. like that in our yeah. food. And it's amazing how yeah. they've embraced it. Uh, in, yeah, yeah in, 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 indeed. I remember like when I come here, I came here like my son was three and a half years old. And that is when I met, uh, met the people from Gegede. And they asked me, what do you feed him? Yeah. And when I told them like it was... It was something which uh, was not easy for them to comprehend because yeah. it, it suddenly appeared very different to them. Yeah. And I think these kind of workshops have actually helped them appreciate. Yeah. And uh, if the Dutch now appreciates what an Indian eats and uh, the Indian system is also able to appreciate how the Dutch system operates. That yeah. Ways. yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like appointments only for 15 minutes per patient is something that we are not aware. So then yeah. we kind of go with the whole baggage of our family, each yeah. one spending questions on each uh, thing. So I think it has been, I agree, it has been yeah. a great exchange. So look, uh, Bharti Indian people are uh, law-abiding citizens. Yeah. And, um, but the great thing about our uh, Bharti people is that um, it, it doesn't matter which country we go, we always take, talk, take our own values, mm. but we are flexible enough to, 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 uh, to integrate in their country as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So that's the beauty of the Bharti Indian people and the Indian people. Indeed. And, uh, and uh, we should uh, always maintain it uh, because we are first a civilization, then the, and, and after that a nation. So we have our own cultural values, yeah. and we should respect that. Nothing has been possible without the great collaboration of the Embassy of India, who is also the government representation here. Right from the first uh, tenure, that is the Sanjeev Singh, who was the head of councillor desk, Manohar Gangesh, who was the head of councillor desk, Devendra Arya ji, and Manesh ji, who has been a great, great partnership uh, we've done so many great work yeah uh, maybe Sumit ji you can talk about some of the things that we've done with the embassy of india here as ofbjp i just want to mention very clearly we are not the embassy of india we work with the support of embassy of india yeah. who is the government representation of india yeah yeah of course of course pratima ji so our great leader uh, atil bihari vajpayee had a vision he had a great vision of connecting and uniting the people of indian origin who are located across the globe. And when Modi ji, our current Prime Minister Modi ji, when he came to power 10 years back in 2014, he decided to pursue the same vision, the same goal of uniting and connecting the people of Indian origin across the globe. So then uh, we as an OFP BJP, when Modi ji uh, came to power in 2014, we also decided to pursue the vision of our leaders. And therefore, we reached out to Anita Seo Sahaiji, who is from, who is a great social worker here in Netherlands, coming from Hindustani Suriname community, and she okay. is connected to a foundation called Indian Lights. And we collaborated with her, and tr we just try to understand that what are what are the challenges and problems which Hindustani Suriname community is facing here, yeah. and what are they what are they looking for, what are their expectations uh, from India, from Bharat, from Indian government. And we understood one thing that uh, uh, there, there was one issue which was boiling. They were only getting PIO and they were looking forward to get OCI card as well, which is kind of giving them more rights, connecting uh, them more with India, with Bharat. And we conveyed this, uh, uh, their concern, this point back to our leaders. And instantly, like I would say, it was very fast that Indian government acted and they did a massive policy change for our Hindustani Suriname community. Yeah. And they've started, change, yeah, that was a big one, change. Yeah. They've started. I've, seen, I've seen it in my own, uh, uh, own, in my own friends and family group that people yeah. are quite happy uh, with, the, with the policy change yeah. and that people feel more connected with, the, with Bharat yeah. and, that, and, the, and the culture of Bharat yeah. because they, you more freely now to travel to Bharat with yeah, the Indian OCI car. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and I still remember when the, the day when the Prime Minister of Bharat, Narendra mm -hmm. Modi ji, came mm -hmm. to the Netherlands, mm -hmm. uh, in his speech, he connected immediately to the. With, yeah. With, yeah with, with one sentence, mm -hmm. Ka Halba. Correct, correct, <laughs> correct. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, that, that gives them an opportunity, right, to connect yeah. back there to their roots, right? right. Because yeah. obviously they are from yeah. Indian origin. Yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah. immediately that yeah. OCI, that whole policy change yeah. has got them suddenly very much connected to it. Yeah. 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 But now they can go back. Besides and, yeah. that, mm -hmm. uh, um, people, the Salami Hindustani people felt 
mm-hmm. he recognize, recognizes yes. and uh, he, he sees yeah. us as the as the as the way we are perceiving us ourselves exactly right. and um in in the human relationship and also in in geopolitical world it's very important that we see each other as we are yeah, yeah. and right. narendra modi ji has done a great job yeah. uh, respecting each country each yeah. nation with their yeah. values and with with their cultural heri- heritage yeah. Yeah. yeah and he um um invited the tsunami in the people mm-hmm. to come to our nation mm-hmm. and to enjoy the bharatiya uh, yeah. right. i think what he did very beautifully is he gave a sense of belongingness yes. yeah. 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 and uh, which was yeah. something that he emphasized in fact you know uh, with this change there was a massive change which also came in so indian government has also brought and allowed that the sixth generation of hindustani surinami community mm-hmm. they will also receive the oci card before that it was only till fifth generation absolutely right. since then we have a lot of youth change the privilege yeah. of india has changed a lot of yeah. hindustani from surinam and hanhal yeah. they are visiting yeah. india often and yeah. uh, doing a lot of yoga classes and yeah yeah indulging and, in and the culture and after this yeah. policy change i we can see a huge influx of of this community hindustani surinami community visiting india quite often because they they want to connect to their roots, roots. which is like eastern up bihar yeah. jharkhand all these rajasthan, places rajasthan, yeah. rajasthan. Yeah. in so, fact uh, sushma ji also started uh, finding your roots program yeah. where even our embassy has supported a delegation to go back to uh, india and actually uh-huh. find their roots you uh-huh. know uh-huh. and i think this is such a win win situation because yeah. Uh, people really get that sense of belongingness when you know who your dada par dadas were or yeah, your grandparents exactly. were. Yeah. Like OFB JP Netherlands came so very handy, right? Yeah. Yeah. We enabled the process. We supported yeah. the people yeah. through the process to navigate through it. Yeah. yeah. And I think that was commendable. Yeah. 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 We we closely collaborated with embassy. Yes. Yeah. We have guided the Hindustani Suriname community on the application process, how to go ahead with that. And I remember a story. I I have a very close friend from Hindustani Suriname community. and he was telling me that sumit i was very curious to know where i come from yeah. and then after this oci card he he actually explored india and he got to know that that he come from gaya oh. he come from bodh oh, gaya that's my nani ji's place <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great nice. great to know. yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> so he was so happy i can i can feel his happiness and yeah. he was giving lot of blessings to our leader our great leader modi ji yeah. and also also he had lot of praise for ofp jp netherlands yeah so uh, everybody is wondering what are we going to do in modi 3.0 right uh, and i think it's an exciting opportunity in next 5 years for us to continue what we've started but mm-hmm. before we discuss what we're going to do i want to check with you ajay ji you're one of our youngest members what has your been your experience after joining our parivar uh, it has been a great experience uh, i had the opportunity to meet uh, uttar pradesh ministers uh mean actually and as well to meet uh to experience the uh, 100 uh episode of monkey bar from narendra modi ji so uh, that gives you also um, a, a greater sense of purpose and from there on it gives you the the right kind of inspira- inspiration to move forward with the ofbg parivar and also the all the karikar Oh, that's so lovely to hear, and I totally echo that, right? And Switi, you want to tell about what we are going to do? Yeah, so we have been doing a lot of uh, voluntary activities. So in future, also we are looking forward to work with closely work with the local society, with the Dutch society and Hindustani Suriname community, as well as the Indian community located here in the Netherlands. In 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 various fields, like we we are okay to work with elderly in the healthcare, in the education system, wherever it is required, please reach out to us. Thanks, really uh, spot on. Indeed, yeah. they reach out to us. And yeah. Anilji, you want to say something? Yeah, definitely. As uh, I've joined the OFP JP Netherlands, and uh, great experience. I've, I would definitely like a lot of more people to join. Hundreds, as we are now hundreds, increase them to thousands. So this is a very good platform to also for my. developments and social connection with a lot of people yeah indeed we run into so many like minded absolutely, people right absolutely more yeah. bharatiya like minded people, people. Yeah. exactly yeah. exactly and priya ji you want to say something ah uh, yes uh, like we have been talking about what we have been doing but it would be also very interesting to know if we just go about numbers yeah uh, you would be amazed to know that we have touched around 15k lives here Yeah. So I'm not talking about the impressions, okay? I'm saying making a difference. 
So we have made a difference on around 15,000 lives, more than 15,000 lives. Uh, if you say what kind of cases you took up, uh, I would say we have took up around more than 25 different kind of cases, which would be inclusive around, let's say, marital abuse, more talented suicide, people, uh, suicide, domestic violence, domestic yeah. violence, really, 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 tough, really, really tough cases. And uh, if I would say it gives me, you know, very sad feeling, but we have certainly developed expertise in sending dead bodies back to India which is not a good you know, skill to adopt because we don't want anybody to experience that. But this is something, a hard thing which we have learned. Harsh and reality have, of life. Yes, yeah. yes. This is a very harsh reality of life and we have helped so many you know, dead bodies to be taken back home. So there are different, different, different kind of cases. You, and what I would just suggest is that we alone cannot do it. Yeah. We need more hands. And if you are interested in doing seva, Okay, please do reach out to us. Uh, we are available on uh, different social media handles and we have a website. Feel free to reach out to us. Anybody can be part of this. I would like to then summarize by saying, in Hindi there is a saying, uh, Boond Boond Se Samundar Banta Hai. Every drop of water counts. So I really, really like on uh, with folded hands on behalf of OFBJP yes. team. I would definitely say, please come join us. We all can make a difference and pay it forward in this lifetime and uh, make sure that we create a better world. Thank you very much. So join your hands and join hearts. Change your life, forget ifs and buts. Sing a song and sing along. Let's all hear what you feel about. Sabhi gai bar bar